Good evening, my name is Katarzyna Nowicka and welcome to Poland Daily News. The nationwide demonstration against Thursday's ruling of the Constitutional Tribunal, which effectively outlaws abortions in the cases of severely deformed fetuses, which are thought to be incapable of living after birth, was held yesterday in Lublin, Gdańsk, Wrocław, Kraków and Białystok, among others. The nationwide women's strike has already presented some of their demands. The nationwide demonstration against Thursday's ruling of the Constitutional Tribunal was held yesterday with the participation of thousands of people. The nationwide women's strike has already presented some of its demands. Even if one of us is attacked by this oppressive system, which is now at Spigniew Żobro's disposal, he will have to deal with all of us. This is yet another situation where the government inflames the situation. They have to see how many people are taking to the streets, how powerful this protest is. It should already be called a revolution. We will list these remarks and comments in the coming days, and then we will announce the official proposal for our demands. According to the capital authorities, over 100 thousand people took part in the nationwide women's strike in Warsaw. Protesters marched through the city center and headed to the Jolibosz district of Warsaw. Some protesters clashed with the police, who arrested 37 people, including 35 football fans. The policemen have sifted various types of batons, including telescopic ones, tear gas and many pyrotechnic products. The decisive actions taken by the crime prevention units and plain-clothed officers made it possible to effectively ensure safety in the city center. I have just been attacked with tear gas during an attempted parliamentary intervention. A group of fascists attack people, so I tried to separate them and that's when I got hit. The president of the March of Freedom Association has announced on Facebook that he received many threats since the National Guard was established and that the matter was reported to the police. He also said which organizations decided to help protect Polish churches. Not only are nationalists and football fans standing there to protect churches, but ordinary Poles, patriots and Catholics as well. We started this initiative, it was an impulse, but this impulse later led to a situation where several thousand Poles across the country, maybe even 20 or 30,000, decided to go outside and defend the churches. This is a freedom parade, this is a freedom carnival, this is freedom, which can cannot be taken away from us by any scared idiot. Even if he has security, even if the police frighten us, freedom parade, do you remember that we'll be blocking everything on Monday? The nationwide women's strike has announced new blockades on the streets of Polish cities. The Ministry of Health informed about the latest data on the coronavirus pandemic in Poland. The new day brought about yet another record number of infections. In the last 24 hours, 21,897 positive cases of coronavirus were reported in the country out of the near 60,000 tests performed. 280 patients died due to the disease. According to the Ministry of Health, 41 deaths were directly related to COVID-19 and 239 because of complications due to pre-existing conditions. In total, more than 362,000 positive tests were reported in Poland since the outbreak of the epidemic, as well as 5,631 deaths. The German Bundestag adopted the shared motion of CDU, CSU, SPD, FDP and Alliance 90 or the Greens regarding the creation of the Berlin Memorial for the victims of the Second World War and German occupation in Poland. In 1939, the madness of the German racial total war came to life in Poland for the first time. I am happy that the Bundestag decided to honor the memory of all the victims and countries hurt by the occupation and create such a memorial. Today, the Bundestag obliged the German government to honor the memory of Polish victims of the Second World War in Berlin, at the same time stressing the criminal character of the German invasion in Poland and the occupation. It is a long-awaited step in the right direction. The Bundestag adopted the motion to create the place of memory and meeting to give justice to the character of Polish-German history and to strengthen the special two-way relations between the two countries. The MPs who filed the motion and the leftist parliamentary club voted for the initiative. The populist right-wing AFD abstained from voting.
Armenia and Azerbaijan did not adhere to a new ceasefire in the war for the Nagorno-Karabakh during the negotiations in Geneva on Friday. They agreed not to attack civilians and to exchange prisoners of war. So far, none of the three trusts agreed by both sides under the auspices of Moscow, Paris and Washington have survived more than a few hours or decreased the intensity of the fighting. The conflict over Nagorno-Karabakh, a region within the borders of Azerbaijan, occupied by the Armenians together with seven other Azerbaijani provinces, has been going on since the 1980s. The current fighting is the most serious since the ceasefire signed in 1994. The ministers of foreign affairs of both countries have agreed to take a number of urgent measures. First of all, to deliberately not attack civilians and non-military targets, to act in accordance with international humanitarian law, the mediators declared. The parties will actively engage in the recovery and exchange of the bodies killed on the battlefield. The parties also undertook to provide the Red Cross with lists of prisoners of war within a week in order to allow access to them and with a perspective for future exchanges. The U.S. presidential campaign enters its final stretch, as over 87 million Americans have already cast their votes. Our correspondent Chris Stepien brings an inside scoop straight from Donald Trump's rally in Michigan. But we're going to have a tremendous victory. It's going to be a victory like none other. It's the most important. How are you doing? It's cold, but I feel very warm in this room. This is a great room. Four days from now, we are going to win this state. Yes! We win four, four great years in the White House. This is something that we don't see. You know, I'm watching these Biden rallies, it's like, there's nobody. Of course, he says that they want to do it that way on purpose. You know, the problem is nobody shows up. They were putting on the screen, our rally, that's you, you're all famous, very famous. At his rally, there was nobody. At least he's doing a rally, he got out of the basement, so that's good. With your support, we will continue to bring back your jobs, cut your taxes, cut your regulations. Support our great police. What does he mean to you as a president for the next four years? Better economy, more peaceful, defeating China, more jobs, 401ks are saved, jobs are saved. Name it all. That's all for tonight. Now on to Poland Daily Business with Aleksander Wierzejski and his guest. Good night.